Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. A devotional by Ellen White. June 11th, the Sabbath proclaimed more fully. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, And then shall the end come. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people for a witness unto our nations, and then shall the end come. The Sabbath proclaimed more fully. I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Revelation chapter 14, verses 6 and 7. At the commencement of the time of trouble, we were filled with the Holy Ghost as we went forth and proclaimed the Sabbath more fully. The commencement of that time of trouble here mentioned does not refer to the time when the plagues shall begin to be poured out, but to a short period just before they are poured out, while Christ is in the sanctuary. At that time, while the work of salvation is closing, trouble will be coming on the earth and the nations will be angry, yet held in check so as not to prevent the work of the third angel. At that time, the latter rain or refreshing from the presence of the Lord will come to give power to the loud voice of the third angel and prepare the saints to stand in the period when the seven last plagues shall be poured out. The angel of Revelation 14 presents a message that is to be proclaimed to the world just before Christ comes in the clouds of heaven. Just prior to this time, then, The attention of the people is to be called to the downtrodden law of God, which is contained in the Ark of the Testament. They see that instead of observing the seventh day, the day that God sanctified and commanded to be observed as the Sabbath, they are keeping the first day of the week. But they honestly desire to do God's will, and they begin to search the scriptures to find the reason for the change. Failing to find any scriptural authority for their custom, the question arises, shall we accept a truth that has become unpopular and obey the commandments of God? Or shall we continue with the world and obey the commandments of men? With open Bibles, they weep and pray and compare scripture with scripture until convinced of the truth. They conscientiously take their stand as commandment keepers of God. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.